He's filthy rich, handsome, and a part of the Abu Dhabi royal family. And just when you thought this man had done it all, he did something no one ever imagined. September 2008 saw him buying what soon became one of the world's most lethal football clubs, Manchester City. At this point, it's no secret that we are talking about one of football's wealthiest owners, Sheikh Mansour, with a net worth of more than £17 billion. This man could buy every club in the world and pay each pair twice over. Are we exaggerating? Maybe just a bit, because what you might find out about the Manchester City owner might amaze you. We are focusing on the lighter side of the shake today, so join us as we delve into the private life of the billionaire, as we scout and unearth the secret life of the shake and his quite ridiculous extravagant lifestyle. We will cover it all, from his luxury yachts to his ever-changing and always expensive cars, and then we might even touch a bit on his football teams. You might have heard of Sheikh Mansour only because of his purchase of Manchester City. So who really was Sheikh Mansour before all the glitz and glamour? Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed al Nahyan lived out most of his youthful life in the state now known by all as the United Arab Emirates. He was born on November the 20th, 1970, and grew up with five brothers who also hold very influential positions in the United Arab Emirates. The Sheikh is also highly educated, and this shot him to being appointed as the chairman of the office of the president in 1997, and served by his father's side during his presidency. With the sudden demise of his father, Mansour quickly rose up the ranks to become the first minister for presidential affairs in the United Arab Emirates. He now holds the position of the Deputy Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates. With a running paycheck and a stunning net worth, there's nothing beyond this powerful man's reach. Now that we're all caught up on the Sheikh's beginning stages, let's look at a few properties owned by this man. Regarding palaces, Sheikh Mansour has a sea of options to choose from. Have you ever imagined that one of the things that would bother you most in life is where to choose to lay your head? Not in a bad way, of course, but because every residence of yours is so exquisite that it's so difficult to choose. Regardless of his status, the Sheikh loves to be with his family and lives with them in the royal house. Although each family member has their own rooms that are as big as a football pitch, the Sheikh has other mansions in his possession, including the Los Quintos de San Martin in Spain. The mansion costs about a whopping $45 million dollars and measures about 20,000 acres of land. Yes, you heard it right. The crazy part is that his private residence also includes its own permanent penthouse. Adorned in gold and marble, the penthouse is believed to be one of the Sheikh's priceless properties. With an array of luxurious properties, we must all be very curious about what the Sheikh describes as fun. Well, just know that his kind of fun isn't walking in the park or playing with his dog all day in the sun. No, Sheikh Mansour buys yachts for fun, and not just any normal-looking yacht. The Sheikh is the owner of the luxury A-plus super yacht, formerly known as Topaz, pegged at an estimated $527 million. The yacht features beautiful swimming pools, a jacuzzi, a cinema, and a gym. You might say that this yacht is a home away from home. It has also been rumoured that the Sheikh has a new baby of the sea incoming. But we know that it's designed by none other than Terence Disdale and is worth a whopping $600 million. For the Sheikh, nothing beats luxury, and money is never a barrier to acquiring the best form of luxury money can buy. Now that we've talked about his beats on the sea, let's take a look at the Sheikh's beats on the road. Just like most royals in the United Arab Emirates, they don't play when it comes to their vehicles. For a man that owns a $600 million yacht, you should know what you're signing up for. The Sheikh has an exquisite taste for supercars and has quite a number of them lined up in his garage. From the likes of the Mercedes SLR McLaren to the Bugatti Veyrons, the Sheikh has it all. Sheikh Mansour owns a Lamborghini Riviton and a Porsche 911 GT, slated to cost over $3.2 million. And if that's not enough, he also owns a Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR, a Ferrari F40, a Ferrari 599XX, and a Mercedes-Benz AMG G63. 
With a total cost of about $23 million, the Sheikh makes sure he turns some heads while he joyrides through the streets of Dubai. Even though he has an array of supercars flocked in his garage, his favorite vehicle seems to be his white Range Rover, which is said to be protected against snipers and even bullets at close range. From his level of protection, it seems that nothing can shake the Sheikh. Now that we have spent some time on land, let's fly with the Sheikh and see what secrets he has locked up in the air. The Sheikh doesn't seem to be lacking in any area of his life, be it sea, land or air, as he has an array of private jets lined up just like his cars. Sheikh Mansour owns so many jets that he's even rumoured to own a Gulfstream private jet, which is almost impossible to purchase by many millionaires. Although there is little evidence to prove that the Sheikh owns one, we all know he is quite the luxury collector. As per his status, the Sheikh also has access to the Amiri fleet, which comprises several different Boeing aircraft. The Boeing 747, 767 and 787. These combined planes cost a shocking total of $870 million, and there have even been rumours of the royal family thinking of purchasing a few more for personal use. Even though we have touched a bit on the Sheikh and sports in the previous videos, it's important to talk more about it since the Sheikh is a stunt lover of sports, especially football. The Sheikh has a wide range of football teams across the world, which he owns through his Abu Dhabi United group. The mothership is Manchester City, estimated to be worth a whopping $4 billion and is the reigning English Premier League champions. The group also consists of other franchises, such as New York City FC, worth more than $385 million, Melbourne City FC, and Mumbai City FC. He is believed to have spent more than £1 billion since he took over the ownership of these clubs. Spending money doesn't seem to be an issue for the Sheikh, but have you ever wondered how this powerful man makes his money? The Sheikh owns numerous private businesses and also chairs various finance sectors in Abu Dhabi. He also owns an Arabic language channel, Admic, which partners with the popular British media house, British Sky Broadcasting Corporation. Aside from all these powerful businesses, the Sheikh also holds the enviable position of being the chairman of the International Investment Petroleum Company in Abu Dhabi. Mansour seems to have a stake in almost every major enterprise and even has ties with Formula One racing. It is believed that he helped pump over $100 million into Ferrari in 2005 and owns percentages in various car companies, including Daimler AG, which owns Mercedes. The Sheikh is believed to have his hands firmly dipped in the investments of more than 60 companies worldwide. That's all we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and hit that subscribe button for more interesting videos. Till next time. <laughs>